I was given a glass of Kool-Aid, and so were the other children. This Kool-Aid was spiked with LSD. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 things the CIA has done that sound fake. The idea behind Acoustic Hitty was to develop an audio device that could function despite extraneous noises. For this list, we'll be going over the most outlandish plans and real operations and projects planned by the American Central Intelligence Agency. These don't need to have been carried out in their entirety to be eligible. As long as they were in the works, they may qualify. Is there a surprisingly real CIA story that didn't make our list? Infiltrate our comments section to reveal your favorites. Number 10. Gateway Experience in the early 1980s, the CIA was investigating numerous pseudoscientific ideas and research into the mind, in the hopes of using alternative techniques for espionage and other uses. One such project was the Gateway Experience, explained years later in a declassified document. McDonald described the Gateway Experience as a training system designed to bring enhanced strength, focus, and coherence to the amplitude and frequency of brainwave output between left and right hemispheres. The gateway process was a supposed method for syncing one's brain hemispheres to using sound. This, in theory, would allow someone to attune themselves with the universe and alter reality. Practical uses of the technique, according to the CIA report, include manifesting goals, converting energy to heal one's body, and even traveling across space and time to access new information. The gateway experience has become popular on TikTok as a kind of proof for the saying, think positive thoughts, get positive results. Because nothing says scientific accuracy like TikTok. It refers to all of these outlets as reasonable starting points to access the gateway. Number nine, the CIA makes a porno. Blackmail is a major tool of espionage, and the CIA has attempted its fair share. During the 1950s, Indonesia's President Sukarno proved to have sympathies towards communism and communist countries. Sukarno was the national leader and spent his time maintaining a balance between the various political powers, helping to navigate through their conflicts. He also had a famously promiscuous lifestyle. To this end, both the KGB and CIA attempted to make erotic films of Sukarno in a compromising position to blackmail him. The CIA allegedly couldn't find a good enough look-alike to the Indonesian president and had a rubber mask of him created. The exact details of the film and whether it was ever distributed are unclear, but regardless, Sukarno seemed unmoved by these attempts. He was rumored to have asked for more copies of his fake compromat. Number 8. Devil Eyes Devil Eyes was a psychological warfare initiative from 2005, aimed at eroding support for Al-Qaeda in Asia. With a name like that, you'd expect Devil Eyes to be quite a sinister program. But to achieve their goal, the CIA turned to toys. Designer Donald Levine was charged with creating an action figure of Osama bin Laden. This, yeah, so this is the creator of G.I. Joe. He created the, the American hero, the real American hero, and he created Osama bin Laden. When exposed to enough heat and light, the face of the figure would alter to appear red and demonic. The plan was for kids and their parents to associate bin Laden with evil. He looks a little like Darth Maul. A little bit. There's a little like a little bearded Darth Maul. While some claim there were only prototypes of the action figures made, other reports claim a shipment went to Pakistan. Regardless, they've become sought after items for toy collectors. Number seven, Acoustic Kitty. While it may sound like your cousin's terrible garage band, Acoustic Kitty was a real CIA program. It wasn't only human beings who became involved with the experiments. Animals, too, were programmed to fight the Cold War. Just as its name implies, the program's aim was to use audio recording devices implanted inside cats to eavesdrop on covert Soviet conversations. The cat that was used for the experiment um, uh, had to be cut open and have a uh, power pack placed inside its uh, abdomen. Another brainchild of the 1960s, Acoustic Kitty cost a shocking $20 million. And despite all that taxpayer money sunk into it, the CIA learned that it's incredibly difficult to get cats to be directed to go anywhere, which any cat owner can tell you for free. Also, one of the operation's first field missions reportedly ended in an unfortunate loss of the field agent after it was hit by a car. 
And as this poor little monstrosity waddled across the street, a taxi cab came down and ran it over. Number six, attacking Castro's beard. Although the CIA's Operation Mongoose focused on a variety of schemes to oust communist rule in Cuba, we are focusing on something more specific. More people have tried to murder the world's most famous socialist than any man alive. Various plots devised by the CIA were aimed at ruining Cuban dictator Fidel Castro's public image. To that end, one scheme envisioned putting thallium salts in Castro's shoes. The resulting poisoning would have caused Castro's hair to fall out, depriving him of his trademark beard. Given how silly the idea was, it's no wonder the CIA never carried out the plan. Still, the fact that they even took the idea seriously is pretty ridiculous. Number 5. Stargate Project No, not that Stargate, although it would make for a good cover-up. No, this Stargate project is just as out there, but its participants stayed closer to planet Earth. While it had many monikers over the years, the Stargate project's main aim remains to weaponize the idea of remote viewing. This might include the power to read somebody's thoughts, telepathy, future predictions, and the ability to remotely view a place or time without actually being there. The idea of being able to gather intelligence through clairvoyant means was certainly attractive enough for the unit to remain active off and on between the 1970s and the early 90s. The fact that it continued for 25 years and included the fantastical tale of people projecting their minds to Mars over a million years in the future will either cement the lunacy for some or utterly fascinate others. But whether it was actually effective? Well, let's just say that the men who stare at goats was an exaggeration, but not by as much as you'd think. This is Larry's spirit guide, Maud. I'm looking into the cupboard now, and I see, I see a tin mug. Number four, Operation Gold. In the 1950s, a joint operation was undertaken by MI6 and the CIA in Berlin, known as Operation Stopwatch to the British and Operation Gold to the Americans. By digging a tunnel into Soviet-occupied East Berlin, the two intelligence agencies were able to tap into a phone line at the Soviet Army headquarters. The tunnel was dug 450 meters under the Iron Curtain to the Soviet telephone lines. From there, the CIA would use 600 agents who listened to half a million phone calls. While that alone sounds like something out of a movie, here's the kicker. The Soviets knew about it the whole time. Their inside man, George Blake, leaked the project to them even before they started building. In reality, a double agent. He works for the KGB, and his role in the tunnel makes him a legend among Soviet spies. Once the tunnel was completed, the Soviets allowed the operation to continue for almost a year as so not to put their mole at risk, and only made their public discovery of the tunnel in 1956. The tunnel helps the Soviet propaganda. The KGB opens the tunnel to the press and condemns the dirty methods of the American imperialists. Number three, Canadian caper. As detailed in the film Argo, in 1979, the U.S. Embassy in Iran was seized and most of its staff taken hostage. Six diplomats escaped and were harbored by the Canadian ambassador and other foreign diplomats. To rescue them, a joint venture between the CIA and the Canadian government opted to exfiltrate the diplomats. The CIA created an elaborate and detailed ruse that the diplomats were Canadian citizens working on an unproduced Hollywood sci-fi film, Argo. Aliens and robots? Yes, sir. You're telling me that there is a movie company in Hollywood right now that is funded by the CIA? Yes, sir. They even created a fake movie studio. Using real Canadian passports created by its government, the diplomats were able to pass through the Iranian airport security and leave the country. Granted, Canada did most of the work, but the CIA's end was pretty weird. Thank you, Canada. Number two, Operation Northwoods. While not devised by the CIA, Operation Northwoods was a proposed plan by the U.S. Department of Defense to use CIA operatives to carry out a false flag operation against United States citizens. This document outlines the methods in which they would do just that. Specifically, 
one crazy idea after another. While never carried out, the proposal called for CIA agents to carry out terrorist attacks against U.S. citizens to justify going to war with Cuba. The primary target listed for this planned operation would have been the U.S. base at Guantanamo Bay. Thankfully, when President John F. Kennedy was made aware of the suggested operation, he rejected it like any decent person would. I am talking about genuine peace, the kind of peace that makes life on Earth worth living. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. Project MKUltra Perhaps the most well-known yet still outrageous CIA project, MKUltra was an effort by the CIA to determine the effects of psychoactive drugs, hypnosis, and torture upon people and use these techniques to aid in interrogation. They funded an army of psychiatric institutions across the United States and Canada to perform experiments on unsuspecting patients using psychedelic drugs, sensory deprivation, electroshock treatment, and more. To that end, the agency experimented on American citizens, suspected enemy agents, and foreign nationals abroad. Prostitutes would lure men to these apartments, and then once the men were in the apartments, they were dosed with LSD, and then they were basically studied by CIA scientists, usually behind a, a two-way mirror. Some were performed on knowing subjects, while others were subjected to drugs like LSD or electroshocks against their will. Under the direction of infamous Scottish-American psychiatrist Dr. Ewan Cameron, unsuspecting patients, many of whom had common ailments such as postpartum depression, were experimented on with aggressive drug cocktails and extreme techniques. It was all highly illegal, of course, and the CIA took plenty of condemnation once MKUltra was eventually revealed to the public. The U.S. government experimenting on people seems like something from a conspiracy theory, but sometimes rumors are rooted in truth. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.